if you do, if you had your own zoo, would you bounce on a bear, let a giraffe brush your hair, have an elephant pick out your underwear? Looks like a perfect day for our father-daughter picnic. What do you say, Willa? Shall we picnic today? That'd be great! Then let's get packed and go! I'll get the picnic basket. Picnic basket. Hmm. Picnic basket. It is the perfect day for a picnic. Mmm, mmm. Yummy hot dogs, crunchy coleslaw. <gasps> Games in the park. Got it. I'll be there in a jiff. Huh? Hey guys, where are you going? On, On the, the picnic. picnic. Oh, <laughs> no, you see, this is a father daughter picnic. Only Dad and I are going, you know, for some father and daughter time. Uh, but what about Walrus Willow time? Who's going to play with us? I'll play with you when I get back. It's just for a couple of hours. Hours? Oh. Dad's meeting his friends later to go to his model making club, so we'll have to be back this afternoon. <laughs> But you gotta take us. Look, does your dad know how to keep hungry bears from taking your picnic basket, huh? I don't know. Can he eat an entire fish while singing a song? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> nope. Without us, you'd be bored. So why would you just go with your dad? Because it's a father-daughter picnic. <laughs> oh, we'll be picking and making in no time. <laughs> Apples and carrot sticks? Ugh. What kind of picnic is that? Boys, it's up to us to save Gladys's picnic. Let's pack them some real food. I have no idea what you're talking about. Just give me my ball back, us. <sighs> hmm. Oh, I don't know about this whole picnic thing. Don't worry, Tiny. Willa will be back. Well, it is her first picnic without us. What if she loves going on picnics with her dad so much that it's all she does forever and ever and ever? <gasps> no. Willa does many things with her dad and still likes being with us. A picnic won't be any different. But what if it is? Do you really want to take that chance? need to keep Willa from going on that picnic. And I think I know how. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, you know what to do. <laughs> Sardines! The cornerstone of any good meal. Hey, you don't have time to play, Willa. We're about ready to go. I'm coming. Hmm. Willa, help! Help! What? What is it? There's a monster in the pool. Is this? 
monster. Willa, why are you swimming? We're supposed to be leaving for our picnic. I just had to get something for Tiny and Lou. I'll be there in a jiff. Oops, I almost forgot the camera. <sighs> I'm in Tengua heaven. Ready, Willa? We, we don't have much time left. You bet. <laughs> Willa, it's a Kanga emergency. I've forgotten how to play hopscotch. That's an emergency? Well, it is if you're a kangaroo. Hopscotch is the most important hopping game in the entire world. Oh, what kind of kangaroo would I be if I didn't know how to play? Crikey, I'd be a laughing stock. <sighs> okay, Coco, watch closely because I'm only doing this once. <laughs> We're running out of time and you're playing hopscotch. Uh, but you see... We have to be back by the time my friends from the model club come to pick me up. Coming! having a picnic and it said you're playing with your animals. So do you want to go or not? I do, I do. <coughs> you're not sick either, Tiny. <coughs> oh. But I get it now. You're trying to stop me from going on the picnic. Well, I'm going. Willa, it is of the utmost importance that I paint your portrait. Isn't it one pearl three? What do I do? Stop it! I'm going on the picnic and I'll play with all of you when I get back, okay? Yeah, <laughs> something smells fishy. <laughs> He found a surprise! <sighs> okay, Dad, I'm ready for our picnic. Yeah, I'll be right there. Sorry, honey, I have to go to my model makers club now. What? But our picnic? I'm sorry, but you were so busy with your animals, we ran out of time. <sighs> <gasps> you can't go. Okay, why not? Because Miss Vanderwinkle isn't here yet. You wouldn't leave me without a sitter, would you? There's Miss Vanderwinkle, right on time. Oh no, look at that! What's wrong? Dad, I think my leg looks funny. Maybe I have a bug bite, or, or mange. <clears throat> Your leg looks fine to me. <gasps> Did you see that? I just saw something in the sky. Maybe it was a spaceship. You should stay here in case of alien invasion. Uh-huh. Well, I guess it flew back to its planet. Goodbye, Willa. I'll see you later. Uh, I forgot to tell you about my school project. <sighs> Willa, why are you acting up? What do you mean? Well, first you make every excuse not to go on the picnic. Now you don't want me to go to my club. So, if something's bothering you, tell me. If you just act up, how am I supposed to know what you want? You know what, Dad? I'm okay. You go and have a good time. You're sure? Tomorrow we'll go on our picnic. Deal? Deal. Bye-bye, honey. No picnic? What a surprise! Is there something you want to tell me? And is that something why you kept coming up with reasons you needed me? 
No. <laughs> oh, well, how did you know? They were afraid that you'd have so much fun on the picnic with your dad, you'd never want to play with them again. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you know I love my dad, but I love you too. I'll always want to play with you, and you'll always be my friends. Really? Really. And if you had just told me how you felt in the first place, we could have worked this out hours ago. You mean I have been a puddle of emotions for nothing? <laughs> I don't know how I am ever going to recover. Hey, 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 hey! Watch the scales. <laughs> I love father-daughter picnics. Aren't they fun? But all we have to eat is fish. You're welcome. <sighs> I'm in Pengua heaven. center of gravity. Could we try again? Please? Crikey! You're going to the veterinarian? What's wrong? Are you sick? <laughs> no, Coco. It's career day at school. Oh. What's a career day? Well, instead of going to school, we get to follow someone around while they do their job. That way, we get to see what their job is like. I'm spending the day with Dr. Fector. <laughs> Will, you'll teach him a thing or two. I just might. I mean, I do know a lot about animals. I know which Earbert likes to have scratch. <laughs> No, Inky Blinky and Bob's favorite brand of sardines. Here you go, guys. And Gus's favorite brand of sardine cans. Ooh, ooh, and one more thing. I know where the ticklish spot on Samuel's hump is. <laughs> Stop that. Well, I don't want to be late. Dr. Fector's waiting. So long, Coco. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi, Kara. Hi, Lara. Are you here for career day, too? Excuse me. If you and your llama must know, Wilba. Willa. And Samuel's a camel. Whatever. We are spending our career day at the beauty salon, having our hair style. Getting our nails done. Pampered than we usually are. That sounds great. And I'm going to the veterinarian clinic. How nice for you. Bye bye. Well, they were delightful, as usual. <laughs> I guess they're doing what they like, but I get to be at the vets, and that's the best. You're going to do a spectacular job. I'm confident of it. Thanks, Samuel. Bye-bye! <laughs> there you go, Willa. You're now an official veterinarian's assistant. Thanks, Dr. Fector. So where do I start helping? Examinations? Lab work? Surgery? Well, I don't think we'll be doing any surgery today, but uh, you can help put these supplies away. Oh, okay. But I can help with real veterinarian stuff, too, because I know lots about animals. For instance, I know which sardines are a penguin's favorite. I'm certainly glad to have you three here today. Oh, yes, we are ready to see how you style hair. And how you manicure nails. And how you paint those flowers on them. Such enthusiasm. Okay, then, you three are in for a lot of work. Did she say work? Ew. 
is Dr. Factorin. There's something wrong with Mr. Pickles. Oh no! I'll get Dr. Factor right away! I'll be right there! Now what's all the hullabaloo? Oh, Dr. Factor, I don't think Mr. Pickles is at all well. Last night he was sneezing, and now he's not eating. My assistant and I will take a look at him. Willa, you come with me. Hmm. Ooh, ha. Looks like he's running a temperature. Hmm. Maybe he's gotten a cold. That's what my giraffe had when she had a temperature. Hmm. Could be. I'll need to run a few tests just to be sure. Willa, could you see who that is while I take care of Mr. Pickles? That would be a great help. You got it, Dr. Fector. <gasps> Coco, what are you doing here? Are you sick? No, I'm tip top. We just stopped by to see how you were doing. Hi, Hiya, Gladys. Gladys. You're all right, Bob. Today it's Dr. Gladys. My name is Willa, and I'm not a doctor. But I am being a real big help to Dr. Fector. I even helped him examine a sick patient. Ooh! I bet if I practiced doctoring, I'd be even better. Can I be a patient, Willa? Can I? Can I? Sure. First, I'll give you a checkup. Galatis, your problems are over. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Hmm. Fluffy, clean, looking good. Fluffy ears, chick. Eyes, hmm. Uh-huh, good. Eyeballs, good and round. Thanks, Blinky. Hmm, a little warm, but that makes sense. You are a marsupial. Body temperature, A-okay. Now I have to examine your throat with one of these popsicle stick thingies. <laughs> Oops. Ouch! Oh, sorry about that. No problem. Are you okay? Um, actually, Willa, seeing as you're taking a look at things, could you take a look at my foot? Something feels a bit funny. Okay. Well, I don't see anything. Hmm. Maybe I should put a bandage on it. Work. I can't believe we actually have to work. You're rubbing counterclockwise, young lady. My hair is very delicate. Only rub in a clockwise direction. Yes, Mrs. Flimby. <gasps> should do it. Thanks, Willa. That's Bonza. This should feel better any minute now. Is, Is there, there a, a doctor, doctor in the house? house? <laughs> <laughs> Willa's here. <laughs> Hi, Lou. Hi, Tiny. Hi, Steven Edie. Coco's helping me practice tying bandages. Do you need more animals to play the part of the patients? Count us in. Can we play too? You sure can. <laughs> Easy! You're being much too brisk! I have delicate cuticles! Which one of you wants to trim Mrs. Flimby's toenails and give her a foot massage? Quick! We'll hide in there! It's Willa, and this is where I'm working for career day. How are things at the beauty spot? Oh, fabulous, of course. You bet! For sure! <laughs> what is this place? A veterinarian clinic. Ew! You mean with sick animals and fleas and stuff? Yes, isn't it great? Gross! It. We are out of here. Ah, I'm ready for my foot massage. Well, Doc, our job here is done. If you need us, we'll be at the golf course. Um, Willa, I know you're busy. My foot still hurts. Hmm, maybe if I tried a bigger bandage. So, how does it feel now? It's a much nicer bandage. 
but I'm afraid it still hurts. Ow! I'm sorry, Coco. I've tried everything I know. I think I need to ask for some real help. Um, Dr. Fector? Oh, Willa, sorry this is taking so long. Mr. Pickles is gonna be fine. He just has a bit of a virus. That's good, but can you take a look at my friend Coco? Her foot hurts, and even though I tried, I don't know how to make it better. Can you help her? Let's take a look. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, um, I was kind of practicing tying bandages. I'll clean everything up, but can you take a look at Coco first? Of course. Let's have a look at that foot. Let's see. Aha! There's the problem. It's a little splinter. And it's out. <sighs> Whew. Thank you, Dr. Fector. I guess I'm not ready to be a veterinarian yet. But you're off to a good start. The most important thing for any vet is that they care for animals. Willa, you got help for Coco because you care about her. So you may have a lot to learn, but my dear, you already have the heart and soul of a true veterinarian. Besides, when you're a vet, you never stop learning. So tell me, which sardines are a penguin's favorite? <laughs> That's more like it. This is heavenly. You three are amazing. You simply must give me your name so I can request you next time. I've got rhythm. 